some of the ridiculous moments we witnessed over 10 seasons of WPT Final Tables, I often wish I'd been around longer so I could have done the raw deal on them. However, as it turns out, when you have access to a video vault from WPT's headquarters, it's highly comparative to having a time machine. So instead of analyzing what we've witnessed tonight at the Borgata, let's have a blast from the past and break down a sequence of hands from this same tournament nearly a decade ago when Noli Francisco and Charlie Shoten were heads up for this title. We begin with Charlie Shoten calling a raise in the big blind, holding just 11 blinds to start the hand. He's gonna call a $70,000 raise here with a king four off suit. Honestly, if you're going to show clips from 2003, then freak out about pre-flop play, you'll just wind up being redundant. So let's not get into it. Both players check down to the river, which lands an ace that Charlie again checks. And it's right about there that Charlie decides that concentrating at the poker table is no longer cool. Noli goes to bet the ace as a bluff card, but as he's laying out chips, Charlie announces call. A call. How do you know I want some betting? Oh. This is a mental error by Charlie. Which he states after the hand was a tactic to keep Noli from betting. I, I no. said I called to stop you from betting. Sick angle, bro. Especially considering it let your opponent free roll how much you wanted to bet based on the strength of his hand. <laughs> Presumably, <laughs> if you just committed a table faux pas by acting out of turn, I'm sorry. you might be increasingly mindful for a while. But the very next hand, Charlie Shoten proves that there's no reason gaps can't come in pairs and announces all in before the action is on him. All in. Another discrepancy here, folks. It's my fault. Charlie has sort of a little mental lapse here, it looks like to me. Noli gets the free roll again, but now decides he's more than happy to move in with seven. I'm racing him all in. Ace eight against Noli. Charlie's hit the aces. Ace comes right on the flop. Noli's got to have a seven. Doesn't get it there. Here comes the river card. Doesn't get it. Charlie has doubled up here on a mysteriously played hand. But Noli Francisco is not a man to be outdone. Noli is a man of resiliency. A man that doesn't let one lost coin flip deter him. Raise. 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 A man that sees your angle shooting and raises you a string bet. Can't go back. Now that's a string bet, that's right. I tell you something, these guys get abducted by aliens and just didn't tell us about it. They <laughs> acted so peculiar. Finally, Noli finds a way to finish this Abbott and Costello act of a tournament when he turns top pair with an open-ended straight draw. Noli has the best hand and the best draw. But these two know how to put on a finale, which climaxes with Charlie Shelton Bet three betting the turn all in. Come on. Holding third pair. Charlie went over the top. He's going to go all in on him. But even after all the cards are dealt and the suspense is over, both players continue staring at the board with a vacant, confused look. And they're both still staring at the board. Come on, what's going on with them? Noli, it's over. You've won. Smile. Raise your arm. Do something. And there it is. You know what? After watching this final table from season two, Screw the video ball. I want the time machine so I can play these guys.